Um, my can, can you avoid the story though? Yep. Yep. I'll and try. be more specific. Thank you. I found out that I didn't believe I was God's daughter. Yep. Because my parents wanted a son so much that I didn't even relate to being a daughter. Yep. Um, and that really shocked me. Yeah. Um, but when I realised, I just I was elated, and I felt like it was an opening for me, another opening for me to get closer to God because I my identity. I feel like my identity. I have to work on my can, own identity. Can I suggest something to you though? And I see a lot of you getting mixed up in this process. You're mixing up the process of uh, knowing God and knowing yourself. So on one hand you've got um, yourself, knowing yourself. And then on the other hand you've got knowing God. And to me, what you just talked about was the thing about knowing yourself. Okay. Is it not? Yes, it yes. is. Yeah. So, so, so what I'm suggesting to you is that many of you have become addicted to knowing yourself. In fact, many of you have been drawn to the divine love path, as you call it. I call it the way, but you call it the divine love path. Many of you have been drawn to that path because you feel it's a vehicle to help you come to know yourself better. I sort of see that as a fairly narcissistic approach. Because I feel that the more I know God, the more I feel from God, the more I know myself better anyway. Like knowing myself is a subsequent result of my connection with God. Not, and in fact, there's a whole heap of things about yourself you've got no knowledge of unless God tells you. Right, what your abilities are, what your concepts are, your, your future life could be, and a lot of other things, all of which are a part of you being your real self most of you have no knowledge of because you're not letting God tell you those things. So don't get mixed up in this knowing self, knowing God thing. The reality is if you come to know God first, then knowing self is an automatic subsequent result. You follow me? Yes. But a lot of what, are you, a lot of what each of you are doing is you're rubbing out this knowing God thing and then you're trying to know yourself. Right? And I'm saying to you, well, you will never know everything about yourself if you do that, ever. There's, there's people in the sixth dimension in the spirit world who have been there tens of thousands of years and they still don't know things about themselves because they're not hearing God tell them about themselves. Okay. Do you follow me? Yeah, it makes so, a lot of sense. So it's much more reliable, to dis in terms of a process of self-discovery, it's far, far more reliable first to know God and then through that relationship discover yourself know yourself you follow me yes i do much Thank more you. reliable mm -hmm. so you to be careful about this uh you know this desire to know yourself but ignore god and i because i'm basically saying to you right now that if you do that you will never know yourself completely ever ever okay thank you right. 